Hello everyone and welcome to Fandom Vintage. My name is Lily and I make things inspired by some of my favorite fandoms but with a vintage twist. Now we are well into the month of October and I think we all know what that means. It's witch season y'all. And in the spirit of the season I decided to conjure up a little something. This itsy bitsy teeny weeny mini sorting hat. Now this is a super cute little fascinator hat that you can wear out and about, or you can also use it as a piece of decor to decorate your desk or your bookshelf. And this was a really, really fun project to do and very simple. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start some things we're going to need are black craft felt, some glue, these pattern pieces cut out, some brown knit fabric, fabric glue, and some hot glue. First thing to do is to trace and cut out the felt fabric out of the one pattern piece that says to cut out of felt. And then with the pattern piece for the fabric, we cut out one of this triangular shape out of the knit fabric. And with the circle, there are two to be cut out, so I just cut out um, on top of two layers of fabric and to cut out the middle as well so we have kind of a donut shape. So these are the pieces that we have cut out so far. So for the felt piece, fold and sew down along the straight side so that we end up with a cone of black felt. Now here I have a cup with a little bit of water and I'm adding glue to make about a one-to-one -one mixture. Mix it up really well to make sure that all of the glue is dissolved. Lay down a bit of cling film and here we have that cone of felt and we're just going to completely saturate it into that glue mixture. Then we lay the cone pointy side up, make sure everything is nice and even and leave that to completely dry. So with the knit fabric on the pattern, you'll notice there are two little dots and a line. And this is just to be traced onto the fabric. So make sure to trace out where the line and the dots are and this will kind of create the face. So first with the two dots, we're going to sew them both together. So I have the needle going through the first point and then the second point. And folding towards the back so that we have the crease facing towards you and then just securing that with a couple of stitches down the middle. And there we have kind of his eyes that as you can see here. Now for the line, we're just going to be cutting that open. And we have kind of his mouth shape, but just to make it a little bit neater and to make sure it doesn't fray too much, I'm gonna flip it to the back and use a little bit of fabric glue. And using a toothpick here, just to spread a small amount of fabric glue along that bottom side and just gently rolling it down so that we can tuck down the side and have a nice finished edge. And here's a little close up so you can see what it looks like on the back side with it fold it down and the front side nice and clean. Now this is optional but I did make a couple of stitches around the corners of the mouth just to make sure that they do stay put and the fabric doesn't stretch too much. Now we're going to fold the fabric in half and sew along the straight edge to make a nice little cone shape. Clip any excess fabric off of that corner and turn the whole cone right side out. I like to use a pencil just to make sure that I get that point all the way out. And there's our face, kind of. I know it looks kind of creepy now, but I promise it'll look more like the sorting hat in just a minute laying down some more cling film and mixing up another mixture of water and glue. Again, always a one-to-one -one ratio. Now by this point, the felt has completely dried and looks kind of like a goth ice cream cone. So we just set that there. We get our knit fabric and completely soak that into the glue mixture. Open the knit fabric up and now we're going to slip it onto the cone. Make sure that the seams line up because that will be the back side of the hat. Now at this point we just straighten out the face and make sure it lies down properly. 
And, and here is where we start to really define all of the shapes and wrinkles onto the hat. So first I like to make sure that the eyes are really, really nicely defined by pinching the wrinkles above and below where the eyes are. And just to make sure that they are placed where I'd like them to be, because once all this is dry, all of that will be set in place. Now after that, I make all of the little wrinkles on the top of the hat. I did give it a little bit of a curve at the top just to, to look a little bit more like the movie version of the sorting hat. Once you're happy with how your fabric looks, just leave it to completely dry. In the meantime, to work on the brim, just sew around the perimeter of the two pieces of circle fabric. Flip it right side out. and give it a good press. Mixing up some more water and glue mixture, now it's time to glue the brim. So completely saturate that one as well. Wring out any excess liquid and lay it down flat. Now I like to give it a little bit of a worn look by pinching the edges just to give it a little wrinkle here and there. So it's been about a day and all of the pieces are completely dry. As you can see, it's completely rigid and all of those wrinkles are set in place. Now just time to attach the brim. For this part, I'll be using my trusty old hot glue gun and using a little bit of tape to tape the brim to the hat just to make sure I have everything centered where I want it to be and it doesn't move while I'm gluing it in place. So using the excess fabric along the inside of the hat like little tabs, I'm just going to glue that to the inside of the hat to attach them together. Then I cut out a very thin strip of the knit fabric and give that a really good stretch just to give it kind of a frayed edge for a more worn look and hot glue that down to the brim to conceal that seam. Now to give a clean inside edge, I cut a small strip of the black felt fabric and just glue it along the inside to cover up those tabs and to give a nice clean look to the inside of the hat as well. See? Nice and neat. Alright, time for his makeup. So I'll just be using a little bit of black paint and gold paint. With the black paint, I am just dry brushing into the crevices of all of the little nooks and crannies in the hat, but I pay special attention to the eyes to make sure that his eyes really are defined and in his mouth as well. And with this dry brushing method, I did want to mention that I go in really, really lightly with the paint and to slowly build up the color. Remember, you can always put more color on, but you can't take it off if you put on too much. And there he is with all of that contouring done. Now onto highlight, I am using some gold paint here, but you can use a light brown or whatever color you want to highlight with. And the brush I'm using is a little bit wider. Now I'm barely going in with any paint on the brush at all, just to really kind of highlight the tops of the creases here and to just make them pop a little bit. To make this a functional fascinator, I'm using a little bit of elastic and a couple small pieces of felt. Now I'm gluing the elastic into a loop onto the felt and to make sure that the loop hangs off of that little square of felt. Now we have two of them here. And I'll be gluing them along the bottom side on either side of the hat. So putting the glue on the side with the elastic, just tacking that onto the side of the hat and putting the other one directly opposite. So those loops can be used to hold a headband, some hair clips, or even just plain bobby pins. And that's it. Now again, this hat can be used for so many things like a desk buddy, a cat accessory, or, you know, actually wearing it like a fascinator. And there you have it. Now, I don't know if you could tell, but I am a proud and loyal Hufflepuff. Let me know which house you belong in in the comments below. 
Now, if you'd like to try and make your own little sorting hat, I do have a pattern for you to download, and I will go ahead and link that in the description box below. I do hope that you enjoyed watching this little project with me, and if you did, make sure to like my video and subscribe to my channel for more vintage, geeky, crafty goodness. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I'll see you next time.